All right. Now this step here, we're going to add the sheet of wax to the uh, to the frame itself here. I use I like Kelly wax. Kelly wax is a little bit uh, it's a little bit thicker than anything else. Um, this box here is about fifty eight dollars or fifty six fifty eight dollars for a box of fifty, which uh, buy in bulk, get more bang for your buck. That's got wires embedded in it. It's imprinted. So deep wire wax with hooks is what this is here. Now I've got my four wires here. Got the top bars out of here. So, or the bot. This is the bottom bar. There's still one's missing out of here. It's actually here to the side. We'll use it here in a second. So take the wax, and what I'm going to do is carefully, straight here, and weave it back and forth. So back, push it back here. Sometimes this is one where it catches a little bit. So just watch your wires, and then straight down to the bottom. Now you take you take the top bar. And carefully, sometimes these little tip of the hooks here, the wax has been a little bit, so we're just going to push this in there. I am not using glue on this one here. The reason why this is, is say here in a few years, I want to reuse this frame and just replace the wax in it. I can put new wire, cut the wires, and clean it up. All I'm doing is pulling this frame out here. The other one's still glued in place. I'll have to use my longer nail. Tic tac hammer. Hammer straight down. Longer nail, just because it's not made up perfectly straight, it's not a problem. The bees don't care, they'll build comb in it, anyways. Now, final wedge bar, I set this and it goes down here over the wires on the bottom. Should fit in there, yeah, be fine. All right, pressed over here. It's not extending farther than the bottom of this frame here. And then comes with three of these small nails. One, two, three. Now, Kelly's instructions are maybe to tell you to do like eight nails on here. It's not needed. It's overkill. Basically, this is going to start this here. The bees will glue everything in place later with propolis and wax. They'll seam everything, so you're not going to need any more nails. So now take the one thing about tack hammer. The one split in is magnetic. So what I'll do is take the nail and it's on the edge of the nail, tilt the frame a little bit to the side and basically tap it to the slight angle there and carefully hammer. I'm not trying to break the wax or anything. Here in the middle, and the final one. This wax is, we're almost done final step in this is embedding the wires. The bees do not like the wires that exposed like this here. Um, I'm, in, I'm uh, tinkering around. I have made a little a wire, a heated wire element to do this. I still haven't figured, uh, figured, out, figured out yet. So we're going to go the standard old school. Now this tool here, you need a spur embedder. I like the wire. I think this might be a brushy mountain one actually uh, with the wire uh, spurs on it. Uh, there's make ones a little groove and everything else don't need it think the wire spool just take it take your slow and take your time one thing also to keep in mind is the wax uh make sure your wax is at room temperature it's in a warm climate there so it's a more pliable malleable in cold weather your wax is brittle it'll break that's why they don't ship wax during the winter so right here i have the piece of pine board this is my do not cut frame wiring board uh, this will fit inside shallow frames, medium frames, and deep frames. Uh, just wide enough to fit inside there. So what I'm going to do is set my board over top of queen frames. It's actually right here to here. And what it does is it gives me a surface to embed this wire. So taking the spur, running it here, it's actually as far as it goes back. Just carefully just give it a little bit of pressure down. Press the wire. Then I move the frame to the other wire. Reason I do it this way here, why I weave the wires, weave the wax in the wires, is so if something happens this here, uh, the wax is not going to fall out one side or the other. It's actually in between the wires right now. So I flip this thing over. Embed, just being careful. I don't want to break the wax. Just trying to stay on the wire. The wire is just embedding into the wax. Move it here.
and that is it see if you can look and see then the uh there's no exposed wires here on either side and we're done uh one final thing that some people may do um and i do here is i date these things this is these will be new frames going into uh, my hives this year at least i know when the frames were installed you can wait till you install these things um but basically so what i'm going to do is uh put take a sharpie right the year that was installed there um sometimes you got to remember what the frames go in one direction in a hive if you want you can put it an arrow uh another thing to, to, to do if you want especially when you have shallow high bodies and medium high bodies uh, you might get them mixed up and put the wrong one in a frame especially some people will grab a medium frame and put it in a deep box and what happens is the bees will draw that comb out past the frame cause a bit of a mess so if you want you can write oh, this is a deep frame so we can do deep dp for deep m for medium or whatever or sh for shallow so basically when i look down at the top of this frame and i haven't they're not done here i'm just doing a demonstration purpose here so i got a deep high body here so looking at all the frames uh i know what direction they're coming in i don't have to number them because sometimes i may move back and forth or vice versa i'm just trying to keep frames in the same direction as they were uh coming out of the frame there so basically that's how i assemble frames here at the six acre farmstead uh hope you liked the video uh if you don't mind subscribe to it give me a thumbs up and that's it. Until the next video, bye.